Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I went ahead and got my Shingrix shot, which is the shingles vaccination. Six months ago I had shingles and I was in agony for weeks and weeks and weeks. I really had a tough time with it. So they told me that I still needed to get the vaccination, which is called Shingrix. It's a two-stage vaccination. Like today, I got my shot, and in two to six months, I need to get my second shot. And uh, so it'll give me more protection from ever getting the shingles again, but it's still possible that I can. Um, so I'm so happy to get that out of the way. I do not want to go through all the pain that I, and agony that I went through uh, six months ago. So 200 bucks. Three weeks ago, I harvested these yucca leaves and have had them sitting in the water and they're in pretty bad shape. So let's go ahead and strip that pulp out off of them and go ahead and at least make a fire roll out of them or some cordage or maybe even both. But I like to use a tablespoon when I strip the fibers out. Can you see those nice white ashes in there? from yesterday's video. So those are gonna be perfect ashes for a fire roll. Very strong fibers. I'm going to separate every one of these fibers and set it off to the side in the sun and the wind and just let it dry so it'll be dry enough to fire roll. This is probably only 200 separate fibers. Not going to take that long to go through them and separate them out. All right. I'm just going to take and set it in the sun right over here on the ground. All right, this is what I've decided to do. This is the pulp that I scraped off of those six yucca leaves. Usually I throw this stuff away. Let's see if it'll turn into some good char material. So we'll use the uh, yucca fibers that's drying out now, make a fire roll out of that with ashes, get a fire started, and then go ahead and char this up. As far as that fiber, I'm just gonna reverse wrap it into a cordage and just sort of have it on hand. Now this is not going to be a reverse wrap tutorial because I've made that tutorial over and over and over again. So I'll leave a link to how to reverse wrap in the description and uh, probably do this on time lapse. We'll go ahead and get started now. You want to start off with about a third hanging down on one side, two thirds on the other side. Twist it. I got this hand twisting this way, this hand twisting this way, which is going to cause it to knot up. And then you're gonna twist it to the right and bring it over to the left. Twist it to the right, and bring it over to the left. Twist it to the right, and bring it over to the left.
And let me show you the splice right quick. Just gonna take this very thin part of this bundle of fiber, twist it in, twist to the right, and bring it over to the left. Now we're gonna grab the tail end of the piece that we just twisted in there, and it's gonna go into this side. Twist to the right, bring it over to the left. And just continue on. For more tutorials on how to fire roll, please visit my fire roll playlist. A link to it will be in the description and at the end of this video. I'm going to sort of keep working with it until I get it in sort of a little strip about an inch wide. Try to get all these loose ends sort of gathered together. Use this fresh ash here, which is falling down through the uh, elevated floor. We'll just take the elevated floor out. Ooh, we're making a mess, ain't I? Got the trash truck working the neighborhood again, as usual. I think that'll be good. Ain't smoking. Go back and roll it some more. I like to try to loosen it up so that that ember can spread. It's too tight right now for it to spread. I mean, it's really tight. I'm gonna split it right down the middle. That's better. Now it can spread. Good. You wouldn't believe how tight that fire roll was. Usually when there's a little moisture still in the fibers, whether it's cotton or yucca, it'll get so tight. It'll get tight enough to snuff out the ember. You've got to release that pressure.
terrible pine needles. There we go. Now you make sure you have your tender ready to go. I like to just do this as a little challenge to myself. Let's char it up. Now they got all that moisture driven off and we have the flammable gases coming out now and those gases are ignited. So we're almost there. Sometimes you can turn the can and get more moisture out of it. But I don't think it's critical that you get every single molecule of moisture out of it. All right, let's take it out and let it cool off. I like to set it on the edge, set it on a 45 so that the, can you see that? So that the uh, heat can dissipate from all sides. Do not take that lid off before it's completely cooled down because then the oxygen will get in there and it'll go ahead and burn up. Go ahead and process up some pine needles. Uh, I already know that I would never do this again. It doesn't matter how great that that char material is. It took a half hour to drive all that moisture off. So let's hope that it is good char material, but I'll, I probably won't ever do this again. Low batteries notification back here. Got a whole lot of residue and deposits and stuff. Let's split it into two pieces and we'll cast sparks down into both of them. See if they'll catch a spark. I know that uh, yucca fiber by itself will catch a spark. I'm gonna put this out of the way over here We'll use this pile right here. You ready? That ignition. Is it going to stay ignited? Went out. Okay, let's try this pile over here. It just keeps igniting but going out. After it makes a run up the fiber that it's ignited, it goes out.
Well, I'm glad we can make it work. Must have found a dense enough area in there for it to stay ignited and to keep on igniting the other char next to it. So, good. So I guess I don't have to tell you, this is not. Just take those scrapings off of the yucca fibers and just throw them away like I've been doing over the years. I enjoyed it though. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Put these wet leaves on there. We'll catch you on the next one.